Israeli forces are on the ground in Gaza and in the air above it. According to the Israel Defense Forces, in one day, fighter jets hit more than 450 targets linked to Hamas, including tunnels and other underground infrastructure. They say expanded ground forces are helping direct airstrikes and fighting terrorist cells. In an address, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said the war will be long and difficult. He said Israel is preparing for a broader ground invasion to destroy Hamas. On Sunday, the Israeli military again told civilians in Gaza to move south, where they said humanitarian efforts will be expanding. Israeli strikes cut off Gaza's phone service and Internet access, but it was gradually being restored Sunday. Three weeks after the Hamas terror attack that killed 1,400 people in Israel, Hamas rocket strikes continue. People ran for cover in Tel Aviv, and in central Israel, several people were hurt. With the expanded ground operation in Gaza, there's concern for hostages who are still being held there. We are very worried about our uh, dearest that they are there. Meanwhile, protests were held this weekend across the U.S. and around the globe, calling for a ceasefire. What the Israelis are doing, this, this is genocide. The Hamas-run health ministry in Gaza says the death toll there stands at more than 7,700. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York.